We'd rather have the police on our side than against us. But some people have a tendency of getting into trouble for no reason. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 stupidest reasons for getting arrested. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll only be including minor offenses, so thankfully nobody died in these situations, but everyone involved must feel pretty stupid. These stories include people of all ages, and even some animals. Well, sort of. You'll see. Let's just get started. Number 10. Having sexual relations with objects. I need to Google something unacceptable! Well, there's no way to put this lightly, so here goes. In 2008, an American man named Art Price Jr. was arrested for trying to mate with a picnic table. Oh. Oh. Jim? Apparently it wasn't the first time. Some neighbors stated that he had an attraction to outdoor furniture. Verl Peter Dills is also a fanatic of sexual encounters with objects. So what's his weakness? Traffic signs. The police found multiple videos in his house of him in action with different signs. Hey, love is love. <laughs> Number 9. Make sure you don't forget the garlic bread. Robert Wheeler, a pizza lover, didn't appreciate the fact that the delivery guy forgot the garlic bread. Jonathan Fagan, the young 19-year-old delivery guy, paid for it with a hard punch in the face. But it doesn't end there. Fagan was on the phone with someone from the restaurant at the time of the delivery, which enraged Wheeler even more. He screamed with him to share the punch with whoever was on the other end of the line. Poor, poor delivery guy. Imagine explaining this one to your friends when they ask how you got that black eye. Number 8. Arrested for too much twerking. A homeless woman was arrested in Florida for twerking by a school bus. Not only was she out of control, she also added vulgar words to her provocative dance. She was immediately released after posting bail for $250. A month earlier, a blogger was arrested by an undercover police officer for shaking his butt in front of a bar in Orlando. Anaconda don't want none unless you got buns, hun. Twerking in public doesn't seem to be a problem for all the Nicki Minaj's, Miley Cyrus's, and other pop stars of the world. But for us regular people, it's a misdemeanor. Number 7. Arrested for giving cats piercings. Sorry, I just... I really love cats. And I just want to hug all of them, but I can't because that's crazy. I can't hug every cat. Warning to all cat lovers out there who might get upset by this next one. A 34-year-old American woman decided to pierce her kitten's ears, necks, and tails. Her goal was to make them look more gothic in order to make top quality products out of them. She placed them for sale on the web in hopes of making hundreds of dollars with these gloomy kittens. She was obviously almost immediately accused of animal cruelty, but this young woman pleaded not guilty in front of the judge, claiming she didn't see a difference between piercing animals versus piercing humans. Number 6. Refusing to give a little boy his ball back. Beware of little old ladies as they can sometimes be cruel. An 88-year-old grandmother refused to give a kid his ball back after it landed in her backyard. It wasn't the first time Edna Jester found balls in her garden, but this time she had had enough. A neighbor threatened to call the cops if she didn't return the ball immediately. Hard-headed, Edna refused to give it back and the police showed up. It's not every day that you see an 88-year-old committing their first crime. Number 5. Armed Goat Steals a Car A supposed armed goat was arrested by a Nigerian vigilante squad for stealing a car. According to their statement, the goat was in fact a man who used sorcery to change appearances. This was a common belief in Nigeria, and the media did not waste any time finding this information. But the police denied this act and classified the members of the vigilante group as incompetent. The truth is probably that the owner of the goat is in fact the robber, and he used it as a cover-up. Number 4. An Unflattering Mugshot Tanya Ann Fowler, a 45-year-old American woman, was not excited to find her mugshot on the front page of the local newspaper. Finding herself ugly in the picture, she decided to call the police to make a complaint. This type of useless phone call to police is actually considered a crime for wasting their time. The police suggested she come back to the station to take a new picture, which she did, making for an easy second arrest. 
Number three, arrested for acting like a ghost. A 24-year-old man was arrested for pretending to be a ghost. The young smartass thought he was being funny by scaring someone who was visiting a loved one's tombstone. Anthony Stollard snuck up and yelled, Boo! in the poor victim's ear. The police concluded that the youngster was under the influence of alcohol and his aggressive behavior led to the fine. The moral of the story is, if it's not Halloween, don't go around scaring people for fun, especially not in cemeteries. Number two, farting is against the law. Farting in public is not very classy, but getting in trouble with the law over it may be a little bit exaggerated. Here's two stories in one entry for you. First, an American cop was convicted for farting on a colleague's face. Yes, criminally charged for a simple fart. That's law enforcement at its best. And in Florida, a 13-year-old student was arrested for shutting down the computers in class with his fart. Don't play around with gas. Before revealing our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number one, arrested for opening a Christmas present too early. Now don't open any of mine, I mean it. In South Carolina, a 12-year-old boy was arrested for unwrapping his Christmas present a day early. Yay! He was so excited to receive a Nintendo Game Boy that he just couldn't wait any longer. His grandmother threatened to call the police if he didn't hand it back immediately. A little frightened, the kid gave back the present. But his mother still contacted police, and he was brought to the station. His mother, a single 27-year-old parent, wanted to teach him a lesson. We're sure a byproduct of that lesson was a general fear of Christmas Day. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.